Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping in and talking another fantastic build that can literally make it so your building goes so much faster if you are doing anything with grass planks or weed stems. I'm talking a super build that allows you to be able to carry 21 planks or stems at one time so let's hop in and talk about it so the first thing you guys are going to need to do is you are going to need to come to the upper yard in the backyard you're going to need the intern badge now the intern badge is right here in the backyard in order to get up here you need to come up by using a bomb that blows out a piece of gra uh, rock that's right here allowing you to climb up over here around this area and run all the way along this back wall until you get up over here what you're looking for is this turned over blue cap once you find Find this turned over blue cap like this there's actually a little entrance underneath it once you go underneath you're going to need a tier 3 x by the way this is actually rather easy to get you don't actually need to go out and grab a termite axe if you don't want to you can actually just go ahead and use the pinch whacker which you can get by just building five clover roofs and one bomb and then you can get a level three x you need to cut down some weeds uh roots that are right here you cut those down and then you go on back down in here back down in here there's a little skeleton that's right here this is the intern skeleton if you come on him he has this loyal subjects um and note as well as the intern badge itself, which I've already looted off of them, but this is where it is. And it gives you hauling speed, but it significantly lowers your movement speed. So if we were to go through and check this thing out without any of the upgrades that I wanted to have on for this said build, let's go through and just look at how fast you actually move. So now that you have it on, this is how fast you walk and you run at the speed that you were originally walking in the game not originally running but originally walking so it makes it so you move a heck of a lot slower but with just a couple quick things you can actually make it so you move way faster now without using anything else in the game you already can carry 15 planks just like this with just this badge already making you super efficient when it comes to carrying things right right but there's more so first things first let's handle the walking problem okay so throw on a couple well, aphid slippers right here and go ahead and throw on the natural explorer perk which gives you the quickness now once you put this on watch how fast you can go you have now returned back to normal game walking speed and you can actually run quite quickly even carrying all of this stuff you can now run quite quickly again so it negates out the negatives that you are getting from the intern badge. You may not be able to move as fast, but you can now go ahead and move at a normal speed. Now let's talk adding more planks, shall we? So if you go into my inventory here, I have two things we're going to be putting on. A fluffy pupa hat, which the fluffy pupa hat gives you plus hauling strength that allows you to carry five more planks. And actually, I think it's six more planks. I apologize. Six more planks. And if you go ahead, oh no, five more, and then you throw on a piece of red ant gear, which also gives you plus one hauling strength, which is how you get to 21. Now you can actually carry 21 planks. Watch right down here. I'm going to pick up all of these planks, and you can see how many Pete is currently carrying. Look at that stack, ladies and gentlemen. You can literally go around and do massive buildings way faster now in the game, and you can move pretty quick while doing it as well. So I've taken away the negative that I've given you from the intern badge and given you guys a fantastic build that's going to make it so you can go and build a lot faster. Now technically this is considered a late game build because you are going to need to get into the upper backyard as well as you are going to need to make a pupa hat. In order to make a pupa hat it's not the most difficult thing to make in the game but you are going to need dust mite fuzz and pupa leather for this. It is kind of a pain to get both of those but if you guys have a drying rack the pupa leather is not that bad. And dust mites, if you fight one at a time and you use some gas bombs, they're not actually that bad. So go ahead and just give those a try. The gas arrows will be able to take out any of those dust mites that you happen to be having an issue with. Now, the only thing that I'm going to say about this build is it is a medium and light armor build, making it so you are going to be able to take a lot of damage. So it's not really a very good fighting build for you. But hey, if you're focused on building a base 
focus on building that base. This is really awesome. The only other thing that I could say that might be helpful for you while you're going through and doing this, a couple other perks that you guys could go ahead and use would be things like, um, you know, Smasher, no, I'm sorry, Grass Master that's right here, or Rock Crusher. Rock Crusher or Cracker is also another one. This is just going to give you Pebble Harvest Speed, but really it's going to be Grass Master because it's going to give you that Grass Harvest Speed for if you guys are looking to be able to cut down grass faster. That's really it, guys. That's going to do it for this build. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below of other builds you guys want to see. This is an awesome build that I hope you guys all get out there and give it a try. But thank you guys all so much. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.